It's official. I don't. I don't have a match at WrestleMania. What? <laughs> well, you know what? I, I can accept that now because I think I found a way to get there, and it depends on the answer to the challenge I'm about to issue. What? I want to have the biggest, most stupendous KO show in history, and I want to do it at WrestleMania. And you know, I've been thinking about who my guests could be, and uh, obviously because of where WrestleMania is being held, I know it has to be some low life from Texas. What? And there's a few people that fit the bill, right? I could invite. Oh, I could invite that blowhard bag of wind, JBL. What? But let's be honest. The horns on the hood of his limo will make a more interesting guest. So JBL, no thanks. What? Who else? Oh, Booker T. You know, Booker T last week went on social media and called me a liar, but but I don't think I'm the one lying about how I feel about Texas. It's Booker. You are from Texas, yet you spent most of your career in a tag team called Harlem Heat. <laughs> what? And, and then you were King Booker, and you spoke in a horrible British accent. What? Booker T, there's no room for hypocrites on the KO show. No thanks. What? And then, there's the one and only Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. What? Yeah. And look. A legend, no doubt, one of the greatest of all time, and a proud Texan. But Sean, I am a proud Canadian. And with that in mind, it would be sacrilegious to have you on the KO show. So out of respect for Brett the Hitman Hart, you're not invited. And look, I could embarrass any of these guys easily, but I have the perfect guest in mind. Someone who embodies the state of Texas like no one else, because just like the state of Texas, he is a broken down shell of his former self, living on past glory. Look, we haven't seen this guy in a while, and I bet since then he's let himself go. He's probably drinking beer all day, all night, like a resident These are so shocked that when he was in WWE, he needed to wear knee braces just to get through his matches. Lord. So if he accepts my invitation, what's he gonna need now to get down that ramp? A walker? It's a long ramp! Lord. Look, nothing would make me happier than to beat the hell out of this guy in his home state at WrestleMania and give him a stunner the world would talk about for years. And then pour a nice cold glass of milk over his lifeless body. What? I know you're watching, and I don't think you have the guts to show up. But the bottom line is I am calling you out. Stone Cold Steve!